This includes turning off all cell phones, beepers, or any other electronic device that may make noise or disrupt the performance. Before leaving, please be sure to check that you have your belongings and that you remove any trash that might have been brought to the competition site. In case of an unexpected alarm, the fire exits can be found there in the back of the room and over to the right. If an emergency should arise, please move in an orderly fashion toward the exits. The team does permit the use of flash photography and videotaping will be allowed. Also, the weather might get nasty this afternoon, so if the team does need to leave early, we'll be posting the scores on the website and your awards will be mailed to you if you receive any. Now, I'm proud to present the team from Sedgwick, Sedgwick Public School. Let's give them a nice warm welcome. <laughs> Judges, are you ready? We've, We've got, got our eye on you. you. Team, are you ready? Is it black or color? Team, begin. Black America to your favorite black and white TV show, Smithville, USA, the show that never grays. Last episode, you saw the Smiths get chosen as model family for all of Smithville due to their modest and completely ordinary lives. Though they live on the border of Smithville and Colorland, they still exemplify all the characteristics of the citizens that live within Smithville. You, come eat your oatmeal. My dear, what has happened to you? I had a dream, Mother. It was a beautiful pigment in my imagination, full of color and wonder and creativity. Ah, <sighs> what's with all the noise? Hugh is telling me about a dream. Hugh, why are you dreaming? Do you know what the lock could do to you? Hugh told his father of the events that had happened in his dream. His father grew angry and wanted to help his son. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. I just wanted to try toast for once. Besides, why do we even have a toaster if I'm not allowed to make toast? Because the model family has to have a model home. I only see one thing to do here. I have to make the call. No, not the call. Call? The color disease control. I'm agent 3333 of the color disease control. Your son is in violation of code 016892347896. Four, three, six, seven, eight, two, nine, one. But I have to do a background check. So, when did this all start? He told them of the events that had happened that morning. No one really knows the true color, the true dangers of color. Only that it is different, and in Smithville, that is a very bad thing. Well, seems like everything checks out here. It looks like your son will be spending six months in Colorland. Oh. This is for his own good. <laughs> the CDC is banishing me to a world that I've never seen. They say that this is my plight because my color is bright and that it's not worth the fight that I'm fighting. They're afraid of me because they see the color. Seen world of possibilities that the leaders of your world are afraid of. Why? 
because it allows for independent ideas that can ultimately challenge their judgment, and that is a risky thing. So what on earth does that have to do with being colorful? You see, color has the same effect. It allows people to express themselves in a way that words can't. So that's why I've been feeling so much different. Yes. I simply have to let my people know, for until now, color has been their foe. Because I had a dream, they banished me to this beautiful sea. And now, I must let them know how it is. Oh, I think. Dear townspeople, the world of color is a place of wonder and expression. Our cousins have taught us nothing but to conform to what we are told. We have lost something very valuable. Come with me to the land of color if you wish to retrieve it. For the only way to change our ways is to have new ideas and perspectives. Your colorfully creative friend, Hugh. Brilliant! Couldn't have said it better myself. Well, of course I could have. But still, brilliant. Hugh, being the amazing young boy that he is, sends the letter on a zip line straight back to Smithville. Oh, look, the mail. What have I done? <coughs> Color is nothing to be afraid of, but to embrace. And just think that the character is coming to interview the Mono family. All you would have to do is make the house colorful, and all Smithville will follow. Ooh, try the heat. Ooh. Maybe a new tie. Now that color had returned to Smithville, the show could live on to the end of time. 